NSCI, we develop stand standards, we certify products, and we verify instruments such as taxi meters to that that is sort of a quick summary uh, of what NSCI does. In terms of what is important to the supply chain, it is very important that your product is certified when it goes onto the market, and NSCI offer that. So we certify products such as syringes, uh, that's on the medical device side. We certify uh, steel fabricators. So if you're in the supply chain and if you're a builder, please ensure that your product, that the steel fabricator that you would use is certified because otherwise you can't sign up your product. Now you'd be putting your product on a pallet. This is a pallet here, for example, and the pallet, a wooden pallet, uh, post-Brexit, must have this stamp on it which states that it is um, of good quality timber. And uh, so if you're coming from a third country, such as the UK or China or America, uh, customs will stop your pallet, whatever the products on the pallet, if they don't see the symbol on. So that, that's really important. So it's really important that uh, if you are involved in, um, in any form of service industry or manufacturing, that you are very much aware of when you bring your product to the market, that is to a standard, that the product is certified, and finally, that you, when you put your product on a pallet, that it has the symbol on it. Well, I think what's most important is that if you want to get involved in the standards world, or in particular, say, certification, you must do research in finding out well, which standard should I be working to. Then when you establish the standard you may need to certify your product to, uh, you may decide that you have to get accreditation from the Irish National Accreditation Body. That costs money. That, that, that's not, not cheap. And you may have to maybe use, uh, if you are exporting or importing your products, you may need to use a customs agent. So that all costs money. So at every step of the way, uh, there will be a cost. So Brexit uh, comes with the cost.